Hey y'all. I don't know if you remember uh, earlier this year, I had uh, I asked you guys to do a community survey thing where I asked you a lot about what you'd like to see from uh, my video production endeavors uh, and different ideas about merch and things like that. But one of the things that really stood out is you guys wanted to see more farm things. So here we go. I've put together a chicken coop uh, for like zero dollars nearly. I think I bought a few wood screws, but everything else I already had laying around here. Points for pack rats. In 2010, I was a stay-at-home dad in need of a creative outlet. Today, I'm YouTube's Volkswagen bus guy and Arkansas's YouTuber. Bus vlogger. Life. Hands-on. So I have this goat shed. The idea is that it will passively heat itself solarly. I could have worded that better. But it also acts as a greenhouse for when we start seeds. It's a work in progress, like everything around here. But it's a good stable structure and I like the location of it uh, for our new chicken coop. While moving the chicken coop further from the house will probably not cut down on the chickens pooping on the porch. Uh, I'd like to think that there's more out around the pasture and the pond for them to get into that I'd like for them to get into. We had some friends that had eight chicks that needed a new home. My oldest daughter was all in. They lived in my office for far too long, so we put this new chicken pen up. Uh, you can see I uh, tried from the end, anyway, to match it up to the old, uh, the older structure, the goat shed. I'm uh, a chronic corrugated metal collector. But uh, my oldest daughter, psh, girlfriend is her name, what we call her here, um, wanted kind of a rustic barn feel. I like where she's going with this. I think I'm doing something right. So on the side there, I used some more rustic metal that I've got laying around. Uh, the window came from a camper I salvaged uh, over a decade ago. I've been holding on to it. Um, the door is from salvaged wood from one of the boys uh, old trundle beds that just was repaired over and over and over and over and over and was not going to be a bed any longer. It just, it was a, no. Of course, I've saw this cool screen door handle that I've been holding on to for years. There's that. Uh, I made this little lock so that a gravity would help it to slide shut and lock itself. And yes, the girls have already locked themselves in. That's something I meant to work on, but life. So we'll have to figure out a way from the inside for them to unlock it. Um, yeah, I just kind of use what I had laying around. Uh, the license plate was fine with her, but she said she just wished that it had another matching license plate on the other side. These old lockers I've held on to for a long time. I wanted to incorporate them into one of the walls and, and, and divide it off. And the top half to be some storage from the outside and then cut through the back at the bottoms uh, for nesting boxes. That way you don't have to go into the chicken pen and worry about chickens getting out and pooping, uh, pooping, <laughs> stepping, pooping on steps, stepping on poop. <laughs> you just open the locker and you reach in and get your eggs. Boom. Easy. Genius. Right? This ladder on the other side. See, I've got it. I've built it so that it would be kind of a, there'd still be a walkthrough to the goat pen. One of our best friends uh, raises turkeys. So, um, and, and he and his dad have both been at it for years and years. So they've got some extra stuff laying around. I asked about, um, if they had an old ladder from one of their uh, feed silos. So there's a 
chicken feed silo that's right alongside these chicken houses all around, or chicken poultry houses around here. And sure enough, the head one, and it's perfect. Look how it bends over, doesn't obstruct our walkway through the pass through there. Is that not? It's meant to be. Of course, anything galvanized, I'm just kind of crazy about. I don't know. I just, there's something about it I love. So the galvanized ladder was really cool up against the galvanized building. Uh, the roof material, uh, you know, the, we took down an old barn in order to build our barn. I know, st I haven't heard any news on that in a while. <sighs> that metal had been in the old barn we took down to salvage to build our new barn. Uh, that metal had never been cut or punctured, that's like a first around here to use metal that isn't full of holes. So that was pretty amazing. Those chickens have the best shed on the whole place. So as you can see, there's not a run outside yet. They're still kind of little. They're about ready though. Uh, so we're going to start working on building a run around and then cutting their little, uh, little chicken door out the back to get into the run. Now for the run, I wanted I've, I've, you know, poultry wire is pretty flimsy, and so you spend a lot of time uh, digging posts and trying to make a structure that'll hold it up. So I've learned to use these livestock panels in a lot of applications, like you just saw in the garden a few days ago in that video. Uh, so it's it stands up on its own. If you go around, a, if you curve it, it doesn't need a post. It holds itself up really strong. Then. Um, so I'm putting poultry wire on that and then going to dig a little trench where it's going to go, bury it a little bit, uh, and do the, uh, the sides of the run like that. And of course, we'll need to put a top because of predators and things. Another thing I didn't mention, uh, all the siding, we trenched around and, and put the siding like five or six inches down, then filled the trench with rock and then covered with dirt so we're trying to be super predator proof so did you learn anything from my cobbling together of junk put it in the comments and please think of somebody that this could apply to and share this video life's what you make it let's get our hands dirty